Tonight, we've got a disturbing update on a story 11 News first brought you. Sources tell us that the Facebook page that's sparking a controversy may be to blame for a number of teen suicides in an area of Canada. 11 News' Mecca Rain joins us now with his follow-up. And Mecca, why this part of Canada? Well, Shannon, my source says that's where the main creator of the page, LG Status, lives. In the last 18 months, four teens have taken their own lives in this part of British Columbia. Now, one man has made it his mission to get rid of this page. LG status of the day, copy and paste anyone else's status, and it's a free-for-all for blasting comments and ridicule. DJ Pete Montana reached out to us all the way from Vancouver Island, Canada, in protest of it. It had to do something about it. After a number of suicides from the same high school where he says one of the creators of the page went to school. Well, it was just too much of a coincidence for us. He wants something done, but when it comes to the law, it's just not that easy. And this is an area where the law has still hasn't caught up with technology. UCCS professor Dunn says this subject is all freedom of speech and expression. Um, I would almost certainly think that it's constitutionally protected speech. Um, that doesn't mean that it's nice speech. People like Pete Montana say if the law won't do something about it, they will, because the alternative is unacceptable. I mean, we all know that going through high school, is, particularly at that time in your life, being called names is, is, is as much as a threat as anything. The laws on cyberbullying are vague and broad, especially if there isn't true physical threat, libel, or slander at the worst. The exception is if someone encourages suicide, which Dunn says almost never happens. Okay, Mecca, thank you. Now you can count on 11 News to continue.